Beer Grenzel's Adventures, The Cave Challenge. 10. Better Than Bat Poo. There, was, there wasn't time for Harry to work out what was going on. The teams were running to take their place and the ref was waiting to begin. Harry wasn't wearing a filthy caving oversuit or a helmet that squashed his hair. He was wearing his sport kit. He still had the compass zipped away in his shirt pocket. His teammates were calling him. Quickly, Harry raced after George into the pitch. The ref checked her watch and blew her whistle for the next quarter to start. The yellow team was ahead. To, st to start, the yellow team was ahead, so the Reds took the first row. George was the first to catch the frisbee after the throw off. He chuckled it toward Terry, but it started to curve away toward Lily, a girl on the other team. Harry ran hard after his feet pounding on his on the grass. Ah! He bellowed. She, he reached Lily just before she, she caught it. He flinched and Harry snatched the frisbee. He passed it on and zigzagged down the pitch. There were two more players. Suddenly, the red team had scored to equalize. But Harry couldn't celebrate the goal. He grabbed the frisbee by scaring Lily away. He felt bad. The game started up again, and the frisbee went back and forth and around, and around the pitch. No one scored for several minutes, and it was a still a, a, a draw as the end of the quarter approached. The girl on the yellow team had the frisbee. He had a choice of people to pass it or calling for it. Harry was marking one of them between her and Harry, there was a big wet patch of mud. The frisbee raced through the air toward the player Harry was marking. Harry charged straight across the muddy patch, eyes on the frisbee. He felt the mud splash up on his socks and legs and short, but he didn't care. He leaped up and grabbed the frisbee out of the, out of the air, landed and chucked it to George all in one movement. George <clears throat> flicked it into the goal. A moment before, the ref blew to mark the end of the game and a red team victory. They thought you wouldn't run to catch it there. George laughed as they celebrate. You're covered in mud now. Harry grinned. The rush and buzz of the frisbee game had pushed the whole cave adventure to the back of his mind, but suddenly he would remind of all the dirt and the danger. He couldn't explain it, but here he was. It had to be some kind of weird dream, but even so, he knew that he had learned a lot from it. Well, Harry said, it's better than being covered in bat poo. Now it's George's turn. He looked puzzled. Oh, my guess. Harry smiled. Then, and then, then he noticed Lily standing on her own, looking sad. He felt bad again. He hated people who drew their wife around to get what they wanted, and that had been exactly what he'd done, that he frightened Lily and snatched the frisbee.
Harry walked over to her. Hi, Lily. Listen, um, I'm sorry if I scared you back there. I'm really sorry. I'm really, I didn't. I'm really didn't mean to. It's okay, Lily said. I know you didn't. It's hard to stand on my stand my ground sometimes. Right, Harry didn't really know what to make out of that. Still friends? Oh yes, Lily smiled. Still friend. Harry felt a bit better as they left the field. Harry wished he could help. He could help Lily to make up for scaring her. Then he felt the stupid compass five direction. So so you should do that. stupid compass with five direction in his pocket. He pulled it out. It had just the usual four direction now. North, south, east, west. His mind really was doing strange things today. Harry felt something else in his pocket, soiled and heavy, frowning and puzzled. He took it out. A piece of hail yellow stone limestone pointed like the end of a tooth, but smooth, perfect for carving a statue out of. Harry stared at it. How did that get here? Somehow the limestone rock had found its way back from his dream about the cave. The cave was so real; it couldn't have been a dream. So it was everything that went with it. Bear and the adventure that had been real, and he learned so much. What did the compass and its five directions have to do with it all? Harry took it out and looked at it again. Was this what what started it? Could it do again? Could the compass help Lily have an adventure and learn something too? Harry looked up. Hey, Lily. Lily, Lily sigh. Harry, look, it's really okay. Harry, look, it's really okay. I'm fine. No, it's not that. He assured her. Harry held out the compass. Harry held out the compass. I um thought you might like this. He said, "Just consider it a gift." The the end.